Or golf, the gentleman's game. Oh boy, got into that. But every year in the quaint little village of Seacliff, the gentlemen shake things up. I'm not walking up to the next one. Let's go. Reed T here. Rough's a little rough. You got to keep it in a fairway today. Oh, get in the hole. A koi pond that doubles as a water hazard. Backyard sand traps. Hula hoops for holes. Welcome to the Seacliff Backyard Invitational. Morning. Morning. Come on through. You're okay with all these guys okay. just walking through your yard? Yeah, it's like any other Saturday morning, you know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have people walking through my yard every Saturday morning. <laughs> no, Seacliff's very special that way. Oh, that's good. I'll give you that. The annual tournament raises money for the village. It's a one mile course spanning 24 holes. That is, if you can find them. Okay, we're going to hole number three, guys. We got the address? Definitely that way. Now I know what you guys are thinking. How hard could backyard golf be? Thank you very much. But I'm here to tell you that this course presents an entirely new set of challenges. It's not as easy as it looks. And while most of the holes present unique challenges, some of the hosts have actually put some real thought into this. It's got an elevated tee box that there are no unusual obstructions. I would say it's probably a fair par three. Does it feel weird when you're in some stranger's backyard? A little bit, but uh, knowing Seacliff, people are pretty laid back, so it's all part of the flow, I think. And if you hit someone's house? We'll just run. <laughs> much club, too much club, that's out of here, that's off the house. In Seacliff, Jamie Stewart, News 12, Long Island.